Hey, everybody. This is Adam Marcus, the writer-director of Jason Goes to Hell and Secret Santa and the writer of Texas Chainsaw 3D. And you are watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> Hey guys, Slash Pepper, and welcome to another video. Today is the first episode of Cooking with SP, aka me. And today we have a burger, a Jason burger. Uh, this recipe is inspired from the movie Jason Goes to Hell, directed by Adam Marcus. Uh, it was a great guy, I got to interview him. It was a blast to talk to him, really inspirational. Uh, so if you want to check that one out, you can click right over there or there to check it out for yourself. Today I'm doing a tribute to that film by making a Jason Voorhees burger. It's also seen in the movie, it's a two for one burger sale and um, it should be a lot of fun. So let's come over here to the kitchen and I'll show you what we got. Okay, so first up, we got two burgers because it's two for one. Jason Voorhees burgers, two for one. Let's celebrate that he's dead um, by getting two burgers from Jason Voorhees, one for free, which is cool. Got these from my local butcher's place, which is good because you're gonna want to form Jason's face into these burgers. And if you get one from the local supermarket, I feel like those burgers are always very, very solid, so you can't really form or mold anything in it. So that's why I got them from my local butcher's place. Get some lettuce and some Dr. Pepper. There are also some additional recipes we need later, but we'll get to those later. All right, so once you get everything you need, you're gonna want to get a frying pan, put some olive oil over it, which I've already done. Then we're gonna start to heat up the frying pan. And start this crap. Let's put it at eight heat. So now the olive oil is gonna melt. Now I wanted to make this recipe as screen accurate as possible. Unfortunately, you only see the burger in the movie. So I decided to add some things that I would like with a burger, especially if you're not gonna add any bread to it. So one thing I'm gonna add are some fries. So I'm currently plugging in the frying pan so that one can warm up in the meantime as we make the burgers. So I think the frying pan is at the right temperature now. Now to check that the frying pan is really hot, you're gonna sprinkle some water over it like this. And if that's the effect you're getting, then the pan is perfect temperature. So I'm gonna be molding the burgers now. So get them out of the package over here. Look at that. Beautiful hamburgers. Really good quality. Get them out of there. Awesome. So now we're gonna mold them. Uh, they're, in the movie they're kind of like a, a hockey mask shape and they're also extremely flat. So I'm just gonna press on them and try to mold it into well, a hockey mask face basically. That's the shape I want to get. Now we're going to press in those eyes. That looks about right. Just twist it a bit. Make sure you can get it out nicely. There you go. That's about the right positioning. And now we're going to want to put two holes over here. Two smaller holes because the hockey mask, of course, these are smaller. So you can just press it with your finger. There you go. And then you have these pieces of leftover. And you can just press those on to the burger itself. So basically any place, wherever the hell you want. Just mold it in there again. There you go. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other burger. Doesn't that look fucking awesome? I'm just hoping they don't lose shape in the frying pan, but so far it's looking pretty good. Turn them around and they definitely Definitely still keeps its shape. Maybe we can kind of mold it afterwards as well, though. Et voila! Doesn't that look beautiful? So now I'm gonna add some ketchup to them to um, get like the shape that Jason Voorhees' mask has. So I'm just gonna add those with some ketchup. So as you can see, there's way too much ketchup coming out of the bottle. So I recommend doing this with something else. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna reshape them now with a knife. And hopefully the second one will be a bit better. So here we have the Jason burgers. Now I'm gonna add some salad and fries to them. So we'll get back to you. 
In the meantime, I've already added lettuce with ketchup. I'm now gonna be adding the fries and put some salt over it, and then we're good to go. So I think the burgers turned out really great, uh, especially the one on the right. The ketchup part is really tricky, that that I can tell you, because uh, I know maybe there's another way you can do it so that um, it's a more straight line, but when you get them out of the bottle, it's really like twirly, sort of spirally uh, stream coming out of the bottle. So I've had a pretty hard time with that. The lettuce basically just represents uh, the forest around Camp Crystal Lake, I guess, with some ketchup over it, which would represent blood. And then uh, we have some fries, which doesn't represent anything except for fries. But yeah, if you want to pair this on an evening when you're going to watch Jason Goes to Hell with some friends, you can also make your own Jason Goes to Hell cocktail as a recipe, as like a dessert maybe. And as we speak, Rob from Terror at Synth High is uploading his video, which is a recipe video just like this one, but for a Jason Goes to Hell cocktail. So if you want to check that out, I'll put a card over there or there. And you gotta check it out. He's a great guy. Uh, we had a lot of fun collaborating with him. You should definitely check his video out as well. I'm just gonna enjoy these burgers now, and uh, we'll see you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not